All right, it's Sunday, and uh, it's a lot quieter here. There was a bunch of guys rigging this lagoon the other day, so I decided not to do a video, but I'm back over here um, putting a water pump on, and water pump, brand new water pump. So had to take the pulley off and everything else the other day, um, thermostat, gaskets, and it's, Right at the front of the engine so just beyond behind this so it's virtually impossible to get to um did most of it basically blind so brand new alternator there's the old one right there so it's sunday um i figured i'd just pop over here i was just on another boat working on a generator so it's kind of my uh my day i can do whatever whatever projects i want so i'm going to try and finish this up today so i don't have to worry about it tomorrow i'm heading out of town um for a few days at the end of the week so I really want to kind of get some of this stuff wrapped up because this boat's got to get out of here as well as a few other boats. And I've got some training I've got to do um, tomorrow with a new boat. Maybe I'll do a video of that if um, if all goes well and he's sort of amendable to that. And uh, he does a good job. So, um, so new water pump there. I got to put the gaskets on and I'm going to clean off the whole front of the engine now. Uh, which you can barely see, but that little hole right there, that's uh, the orifice where all of the antifreeze comes in and out, but the belt dust and everything else from when the belt was shredded, I'm going to um, just kind of clean up this engine form just to make it look nice, and um, we'll see what happens when I get this thing on. So just to explain real quick on how you turn a fairly easy, innocent project into something that will literally take all afternoon, two of those fall into the bilge somewhere. So these go on to the pulley. These tiny little things, two of them, as I put my hand here, just rolled down somewhere into the bilge underneath the engine when I was so close to finishing this up in a timely fashion. So that will probably be the rest of my afternoon is hunting down two tiny little freaking screws. Well, thank God I found one real easy found a litany of other bolts and nuts and everything else in the bilge but couldn't find the last one however i did uh was able to scavenge one off another uh nut bolt really that size um off of the old water pump so um we're giving one to the bilge gods and we've got a couple back so that's good one last thing i don't have any big allen wrenches with me and this is a plug that goes right there, which is for the temperature sensor. So with what I've got, a little Yankee Ingenuity, flathead screwdriver, and a little bit of lever right there. Put it inside there, just like that. And uh, use that as a leverage and twisted it out so I don't have to come back here. So that's good news. I got that out. I'm going to put that back in, put the wire back on, and put the thermostat in, and we should be getting close. All right, so time to put the thermostat on. There's two gaskets. There's one tiny little O-ring right underneath there. And on this Yanmar, you can see, or you can't, but the thermostat is actually offset to accommodate this orifice that it's sitting in here. So I'm going to tack this up right now and drop the gasket in. I've already cleaned up the housing that it goes into, so it's nice and clean. And we're going to put that back on, and we're getting close. Next step is, um, I think, the belt and tension everything back up. Um, I've got these hoses already done. Just put this back on. Um, should you have to take off a uh, stud if you can't have the or have the right tools, and um, yeah, belts next, and put antifreeze back in, clean up this engine room, fire her up. Okay. One little push of the button, got her fired up, spurred like a kitten. Sounds good. A little rattle. I don't see any leaks. Gonna let it run for a couple minutes here, and make sure she comes up to temp. Just do another quick wipe down, and we should be good to go. Also, the best way to get back and forth to work. So, uh, I was just way over there. Gonna head back to the marina. Commercial ship heading out. Beautiful Sunday day. 
This is an awesome commute. Downtown Charleston. I don't ask to do a cruise ship in. So a lot of times if I've got a lot of stuff, like I've got all this stuff that I just packed out, sometimes it's easier just to take a boat over. If it's uh, over at Patriots Point or up the Ashley River or Daniel Island, uh, a lot of times I'll just load up the boat and head up. I know what my time is. It's literally nine, 10 minutes from my marina across town. I mean, I can barely get in my truck and uh, get over the Rapinoe Bridge in that amount of time. So it's just a pretty consistent way and a kind of a neat way to get to work and back. So beautiful, peaceful ride on a Sunday and job's done. I think I'm gonna call it a day because it's almost getting coffee time.